This is a demonstration of the buoyancy force calculation problem set problems from sciencepriMer.com. Uh, in this problem set there are a couple of different types of questions. I've chosen one of the more difficult ones to demonstrate. And the question being asked is what and I chose this one right off the website. What is the buoyancy force of an object that displaces 53 grams of water? And we're asked to give our answer in the nearest tenth of a newton. So these are the units we're going for. So first, let's remember what buoyancy force is. Buoyancy force equals the weight of the water displaced by an object. So in this case, the object displaces 53 grams of water. We need to, so we need to calculate the weight of that water. Remember grams, this is mass, not weight. So we need the relationship between mass and weight, so the weight of an object is equal to its mass times the force of gravity. Let's talk about the units a little bit. Weight needs to be reported in newtons. We know that newtons equals kilograms meters per second squared. Where gravity is a force and it's meters per per second squared, and mass is either grams or kg. Since we're given mass in grams, in order for this relationship to work, we need it in kilograms. So the first step, convert mass to kg, kilograms. And to do this, we have to know the relationship. We know that one kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. And then we can just simply write the 53 grams. We're then going to multiply by this. And we see know that the grams are going to cancel, so our units are going to be kilograms. Go ahead and bring our calculator over here. We have 53. We're going to multiply by 1, divide by 1,000, and that will equal 0 0.053. So the mass we're working with is 0 0.053. Get a clear sheet here. A couple of reminders here. We're working with this relationship. Weight equals mass times gravity. We need this in newtons. To do that, we converted the mass from grams to kilograms, and we know gravity is meters per second squared. So we're in good shape with the units. We figured out on the previous page the mass we're working is 0 0.053 kilograms. We're on Earth, so this is 9.8 meters per second squared. And we're looking for the weight, which is the unknown, so it's x. So the next step here is to set up the equation, put the numbers in the equation. So weight is the unknown, it's x. Mass is 0 0.053 kilograms, and gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared. pull our calculator back. We have, we already have the 0 0.53 that we need, so we'll just multiply that by 9.8 and we end up with 0 
So I'll go ahead and put that in for now. It's a bigger number than we need. But we now know that x equals 0 0.5194 kilograms meters per second squared. Now remember from the previous page, we need this in the nearest tenth of a newton. So rather than have these four digits, we can break this down. Since this is less than 5, this rounds down to 0 0.5. So we'll make it 0 0.5, and since we know that a newton equals a kilogram meter per second squared, we can go ahead and change this to newton, and we have our answer. So the answer to this example problem is 0 0.5 newtons, which is the buoyancy force of an object that displaces 53 grams of water. That completes the demonstration. Follow the link below to go back to the pr problem set. And please feel free to contact me if you have any questions.